Hey guys, it's me, Brie, in horrible lighting. But I just got done with a 12 hour shift. I'm exhausted, I'm hungry. But I really wanna make a video about the pros of becoming an x-ray tech and why I feel like it was one of the best decisions I've made in my life. And I'm about to go to McDonald's to get food. And then I will tell you guys all about the pros of um, being an x-ray tech. I'm working in surgery today, so hence the attire. Yeah, let's get out of here. Time to go home. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Brie, and I am back with another video, and this one's gonna be a little bit more of an informative video. So if you guys wanna find out the pros, in my opinion, of being an x-ray tech and all the ways it's changed my life, then make sure to keep watching. Before I start this video, I would love it if you guys would like and subscribe to this video. And if you guys like it, that means that I know you are enjoying these videos and I will make a cons video of becoming an x-ray tech. Before I start the video, I wanted to let you guys know that I do enjoy daily vlogging and weekly vlogging and sharing little tidbits of my life as a 29 year old living in the city, in the city of New York or at least very close to New York. <laughs> I live extremely close to New York, so I'm always there hanging out, um, taking travel x-ray assignments in New York. Um, I just finished one a couple of weeks ago. Um, what else do I vlog about? I vlog about just my daily life, fashion, clothing, um, the things I buy, cooking, cleaning, going out with friends, all of the things, traveling. So if that's something that you guys would like to see then make sure to stay tuned for more vlogs and go check out the last two that i just made that are pretty recent baby's crying so just a little background on me i've been an x-ray tech for the last six years i was a just normal x-ray tech for about four of those years um, working at a permanent job and then for the last two two and a half years i have been working as a travel x-ray tech. I'm living on the East Coast right now and I've just really been enjoying being a travel x-ray tech for the last couple of years. Um, learning that whole side of being a x-ray tech and I've been working mainly in the OR, in the operating room, um, and I thoroughly enjoy doing that. I work with C-arms and O-arms um, on the daily, um, but I also obviously do diagnostics, x-rays, just the normal x-rays where you go in because you got something wrong with maybe a bone or you need a chest x-ray or an abdomen x-ray I do all of that as well um, I do fluoroscopy um, studies so things like where you go in and you drink the contrast and then a radiologist will like take pictures of you as you're drinking um, I do all those kinds of things what else do I do I think that's it <laughs> Um, so yeah, I have quite a bit of experience and I've learned quite a bit over the last six years, going on seven. Um, so yeah, I wanted to show that, share that with you guys because I feel like there is, actually it's grown quite a bit. Since my last x-ray video I made, maybe like four years ago, um, if you guys want to check that out, you should definitely go and do that. Um, but it's all about just like how I became an x-ray tech, my schooling experience, the classes I took then make sure to go and check out this video or I'll leave it down in the link on the, the uh, description box below. So whichever one here or there. Guys, I feel like um, there are a lot more videos on x-ray in the field of radiology, which is amazing that we are getting more representation for this field because I feel like it is a really great one and I really truly enjoy my, my job and the opportunities that it has opened up for me. So. Yeah, without further ado, let's get into the reasons why I love being an x-ray tech. Also, I got cut by a knife, so that is why. You know what, I'm not gonna tell you the story because my vlog is coming out pretty soon as to why this happened. But basically a cooking accident. <laughs> so number one reason why I love being an x-ray tech is 
I just feel personally that there is always going to be a need for an x-ray tech so you will almost never be out of a job. Um, like I said, I've moved around quite a bit and I have never had a problem finding a job. When I moved to a new city, which I've moved to about three, four different cities now and I've found a job within like a month, maybe like a couple of weeks, honestly not even a month. Definitely like a couple of weeks, I was able to find a job, lock it down. Um, people are always leaving, you know, their jobs. People are always looking for more help at their hospitals or their facilities. And I just feel like you have so many options. You're not just gonna come about like one or two x-ray jobs when you move to a different city. You're literally going to have a whole list of options. Um, you can work in doctor's offices, you can work in the OR like I do, um, hence the scrubs, I forgot. That's why I'm wearing these like surgical scrubs because this is usually what I wear at work. Um, but yeah, you can work in the OR, you can work um, in a department like a, at a trauma, lab, a trauma hospital. You can work in so many different environments and I feel like you're just always going to have a pretty good choice of jobs to get if you ever move or if you ever just want to um you know switch jobs or whatever it's if you literally just want to fly off to california one day um and get a job you'll be able to do that if you want to fly off to new york like i did and get a job you're able to do that um so yeah i just love the versatility of it i love that i never feel trapped in like a little bubble I I feel like I'm able to move around and I love that. My number two reason why I love being an x-ray tech is definitely because you don't have to be super involved. And what I mean by that is, honestly, I feel like all of the gross parts of the medical field, you're not having to be super involved in unless you're working at like maybe a trauma hospital where you're seeing a lot of, you know, traumatic things. Um, you're not going to run into like blood and guts and bones popping out of people's skin and um, a lot of traumatic situations unless you literally go to a job that is meant to be traumatic. <laughs> at trauma hospitals, which I just spent the last like two years at a travel assignment um, at a trauma hospital, I feel like yes, I was involved in a lot of, you know, like serious things that involved blood and you know a lot of seeing people pass away um what else i mean you know very traumatic situations like i'm not gonna go too much into depth but i do feel like i did see a lot of that the past two years because of the environment that i chose to work in but even then i mean if someone has called a code and they need x-ray there which they pretty much always will have an x-ray tech at a, a code where a patient um, you know is coding you're not going to be in there doing like CPR on the patient unless I mean it's absolutely necessary but there's people set to do things like that um, you're literally just there to take the picture um, another example if you go in a room and I don't know say the patient has defecated on themselves um, you're not gonna have to really perform the x-ray in those conditions you're just gonna ask the nurse would you kindly you know change the patient so that I could come back and do the x-ray if it's in the area that you're doing an x-ray so you're not gonna have to touch anything um, if the patient is um, I don't know just going through anything that involves bodily fluids or anything like that I just don't feel like you have to be all up in there okay like you're not gonna be all up in there I did want to add that um, if these things do need to be done where I need to help with maybe changing a patient because they're down in the department and a nurse is not around or um, the patient just needs help with something I will do it literally like I'm not saying that you're just not gonna do the task that needs to be done but just saying that it usually doesn't end up being your responsibility but if it does I'm always ready to help wherever I can you will see and be a part of a lot of different serious situations and very traumatic things but mostly they're not looking for you to fix the situation like you're just there to help if you can but your main job is to take the x-rays to help them 
um, further their investigation of the patient's condition. So yeah, I don't know. You just won't be all up in it, but if you need to be, you are trained and um, have a willing attitude to definitely help wherever you can. Um, you'll kind of be on the sidelines, but that doesn't diminish the very important job that x-ray techs do feel like um, x-ray techs are the eyes of whatever facility or hospital you're working for um, you're the eyes for them like they literally cannot do their job without you if a patient needs to be intubated guess what they need an x-ray tech if um, a patient is having chest pains or um, they've had a heart attack or a stroke they're probably going to need a chest x-ray um, if a patient is having abdominal pains, they're not going to know what is going on with the patient unless they probably get an x-ray or some other um, modality of radiology to help them out. So I do feel like even though we don't have to be super involved um, in the patient's care, we are super important, but it's a benefit for us in my opinion because you don't have to be all up in there like I said. I don't know how else to put that. You just don't have to be all up in there, but you like, you're very important still. What are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing? <laughs> Nothing. Me? <laughs> Just hanging around. I do still feel like I get to be a very positive impact in the patient's um, life as they are staying at the hospital. Uh, you get to brighten their day, you get to come in, and you know, even though it's for a short amount of time that you're doing the x-ray, maybe in their rooms or during their surgeries, um, you can always brighten their day, make them feel better, make them feel like royalty, get them blankets for no reason. Um, I don't know, ask them how they're doing. If it's a patient you do an x-ray on every single day, um, I love to just be like, oh, are you feeling better from yesterday? Or, um, you know, do you need anything? Like if they can't find their glasses, I'll help them look for it. Um, and I love having that impact on a patient's stay at the hospital okay so next reason that i love being an x-ray tech is definitely the pay um so as an x-ray tech i'm just gonna be honest you're not gonna be like super rich but you're like not gonna be super poor either like you're gonna be able to live a pretty decent life um have a pretty good um work-life balance you're going to be able to afford um, to go on vacations and to be able to buy things that you really want to buy um, and that's just like a good feeling of security that I love that I get from x-ray to be honest as well it kind of does depend the pay depends on where you live so like I said I've had two jobs um, as an x-ray tech in the south and I'm not gonna lie the pay is not that great okay but the cost of living is very low there. So I still lived a pretty comfortable life. That's kind of the reason I went the travel x-ray tech route because I am making a lot more money. I get to live in places that I would have never dreamed of living at and I get to experience a lot of new things while making great pay. So if you guys would like a video a little bit more in depth about my experience of being a travel x-ray tech, then definitely like this video because I'll know I'll know that you guys want more um, information on that part of my X-ray career. Um, but yeah, definitely I feel like pay is pretty decent, um, especially here like on the East Coast um, where I am. I do feel like even if I wasn't a travel X-ray tech, I'd be more than okay. You just have to kind of be smart about it. Do your research, negotiate. Let people know your worth. Let them know how great of an x-ray tech you are. Um, and yeah, just kind of be smart about where you choose to work as well and you'll make decent pay. Okay. And the last reason that I love being an x-ray tech is definitely the growth. I feel like as an x-ray tech, I have the power to grow in my field. Um, if I ever get tired of just doing normal x-ray, I can move up to CT, MRI, we can move up to ultrasound, um, we can do um, nuclear medicine, radiation therapy, you can branch out into mammography or doing bone density um, studies. There's just so much I feel like you can do as um, an x-ray tech. You don't have to stay in a little bubble 
which I feel like it's just so rewarding like to know even if you don't move up to those different um, modalities just knowing that you have the choice um, to grow and you probably will you know never get bored with your field is really comforting right now I'm, I'm definitely doing okay with just being an x-ray tech um, and going the travel route I'm very very happy with that but like I said you have so many choices and you're never going to be like stuck or um, unable to go past a certain point. Uh, overall, I genuinely do love my job. I love the opportunities that it's open for me. I love the people that I've met throughout um, the many jobs that I've had as an x-ray tech. Um, the situations that I've been in that I feel like I would have never ever been able to be in had I not gone into the fields of x-ray. And I'm just genuinely happy and I hope that this video helped you guys if you are um, deciding on whether or not you want to go into the field of radiology um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed watching make sure you guys subscribe and like this video and thanks for watching let's go take my dog out